what's going on guys this is jove from jove's gaming lounge and i'm gonna show you how to play windows ce games from the dreamcast on retroarch using flycast a few things you're gonna need you're gonna need to download retroarch which i already went ahead and did if you don't know where to get it right there retroarch.com i will link it in the box below now, once you've gone ahead and downloaded that, I extract it here to the desktop just to make it simple. And there's actually gonna be a few extra things that you're gonna need to make this work for you. So, one of the things you'll need is a Dreamcast BIOS. You'll have to just download it from Google. I cannot provide these files, but you would put it in this directory here in the main folder of RetroArch, you'll find system, and it has to be in a folder called DC. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and launch RetroArch. First thing I'd like to do is go to the online updater, and I already went ahead and did this, but what I recommend you do first is update the database, then you update the assets, then update everything else as you would like. Go to core downloader and you'll move all the way down to the bottom here you want to pick this core to download you'll find the sega dreamcast naomi flycast now once you do that it's pretty simple you have to have a few games i have happen to have a few games here that are windows ce games and we're going to go ahead and test them Now, while we are here, I want to show you a few extra things you can do to enhance your gameplay. First, you'll bring up the in-game menu by either toggling a hotkey for it or just simply press F1 on your keyboard. And you want to go down to options. One of the things you may want to do, depending on your GPU, is you will want to boost the resolution resolution to make the game look a lot smoother say you want to go to 1080p this would be the 1080p resolution seeing that it's a 4.3 you don't have a full 1920 but you have the 1440 by 1080p and if you'd like you can do the alpha sorting to be accurate if you have a powerful machine and i wouldn't even say powerful i would say a modern modern computer would get you to run these settings you like mint mapping on certain games will look good with this resident evil will not you can change your region certain games you can force this on and that's a tropic filtering looks really good here you can even use texture filtering here. We'll do a 2X. And one thing I'd like to turn on every time is per game VMU. This way you'll never run out of space on a memory card while saving a game. Now, in order for this to go into effect, you just have to restart your game. You're going to close content, run. You can even hit spacebar. Is it a little fast forward? We're back in the menu. You can already see the texture filtering in effect here.
So as you can see, the game is upscaled. And one thing you may want to do when you're upscaling the game is you want to keep it in multiples of 480. So you want to go 480p, then 960, then 1440. And you'll get the best Freeze. results. Boy, what are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human! So if any of this helped you out, be sure to give it a like, share it with a friend, and subscribe if you want more. I'm going to leave you with some more gameplay, but thanks for watching. Armada Broodholm is approaching the city. Mobilize and destroy. We're transmitting coordinates. We sure could use some help out here. Yeah.